what's up y'all actually you back and get with another one when dealing with these narcissists out here in relationships specifically i really need you to know the difference between being patient and wasting time now i'm gonna get deeper into this but before i do please hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe thank you so much for coming to this video i really appreciate you thank you for the love and support now when dealing with these narcissists right especially if we're in love we feel like obviously this this narcissist is not ready to be in no type of relationship because they're childish they have baggage they have issues that they haven't healed yet all this other stuff right which you know is normal you know we're all human i don't know about you but for me per se i'm an empath so and I'm, i also love to help people so i'm always feeling the need to be cat and save a hoe to somebody but i learned how about that but anyway being that i was trying to be cat and save a hoe i gave so much time so much time for the person to change or do better or just whatever right and it literally wasn't my patience it wasn't just patience for me it was literally me just wasting my time why is that because there was no change at all it was the same thing over and over again literally same conversations same arguments same actions same lies same everything like literally we could have been in a relationship since we were 12 and now we're 52 and it's literally the same shit over and over again the same lies the same apologies all of that because they never change now i need you if you haven't watched my video i've I posted a video about their um they never changed they just changed their approach i need you to watch that video too because it'll make sense for this video as well but literally it's the same shit with them because it's nothing but an ongoing cycle and being that it's nothing but an ongoing cycle it's wasted time you're on a hamster wheel you think it to yourself i'm on this hamster wheel you know maybe one day this will happen. maybe one day it'll change maybe one day we need to stop thinking about this maybe one day shit if they're not showing results and and consistent results at that what are you waiting for well, patience. We need to have the same patience that we have for these people and have it for ourselves. We need to put that same patience in ourselves or put it into our children or put it into our businesses or put it into our careers. Put it. That's what we need to take the patience for because these grown people, grown men and women, we don't have time to be having patience for them to, to figure out their issues or to figure out themselves or to grow up or to stop lying, stop cheating. and all. That's not our job. Our job is not to raise no grown ass woman or no grown ass man. That is their job or that was their mother's job or, or parents job I should say. That is not our jobs. So instead of us sitting here trying to be bag lady and, and carry these heavy ass bags that not only do we have for ourselves from society outside in the world also our own shit. Now all of a sudden we want to carry their bags too? No. I'm here to tell you, you're wasting your time. I understand because me, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a very patient person. Very patient. I give a lot of chances. I'm very empathetic. I'm very sympathetic. And I, I give the benefit of the doubt. I play devil's advocate. I do all of that. But it's like, at what point is it enough? At what point are you sitting here to yourself thinking, yo, it's been the same shit since five years ago and nothing has changed because that's what it is you're literally wasting your time you just wasted four extra years or f shit five years with this person and they never changed and you probably been constantly changing constantly growing constantly doing better and while they're still doing the same shit over and over again you're literally wasting your time. I need you to know the difference between being patient and wasting your time. And if you are with a narcissist, you are most definitely wasting your time. Now, I understand there's some people out there that has children with the narcissist. These narcissists out here, they love to depend on that too. What are we going to do about the kids? What are we going to tell the kids? The kids, they don't need to be growing up without two parents in the house. All the kids, the kids, the kids. Fuck that. They're using that another way to control you. Because were they thinking about the kids when they broke up your home? Were they thinking about the kids when they decided to cheat on you? Were they breaking up the kids when they decided to ghost you? When they breaking up the kids where they decided to break you down mentally, physically, emotionally, 
so where that rolls over into the, the the relationship you have with the kids or the abilities that you may not or have with the kids did were they thinking about that then no so they damn sure not thinking about it now they don't care about the, i'm not gonna say they don't care about the kids but they don't care about the well-being of the kids because if they did they wouldn't be doing a certain actions that they do so don't let these narcissists try to drag you back in, control you again, manipulate you into thinking, I want this. Because you ain't doing nothing but wasting your time, your precious time. And one thing that we do not have is time to waste. And another thing that we should not have is fucks to give. And we need to realize that sooner or later. That these people are lying. We already know they're liars. So why should we believe anything that comes out of their mouths? other than their pieces of shit literally we need to stop wasting our time stop being so patient with people that don't deserve it i'm not saying don't be patient that's not what i'm saying because a lot of people sometimes patience is what they need but if you're doing the same things over and over again no at this point my patience is not what you need what you need is a therapist and you need to get yourself together and then if you actually change which probably most likely they will not but if you're a unicorn and you just so happen to then we may get back together or then we may be able to continue this friendship or maybe then I'll think about staying at this job but stop wasting your time it's not worth it we have one life to live baby don't you want to live your life happy you don't want to live your life crying all the time being sad all the time your kids seeing you crying and sad and traumatizing them you traumatizing yourself and all in the meantime this narcissist is living a life thinking that nothing is wrong i got her where i need her he ain't going nowhere because who gonna cook for him who gonna we gotta stop wasting our time out here people and with that being said please take heed to what i'm saying if what i said to you makes sense please let me know in the comment section down below make sure you hit the like button make sure you share this video make sure you definitely hit the subscribe button before you leave if you're here still at the end of this video and thank you so much for your support and coming to this video i really appreciate you guys and with that being said i'll see you in the next one bye